hello viewers out there my name is Ernie and this is my sixth blog post that you're watching so today I'm going to talk about what we did in class um, last week well we really talked about like um, rhetorical analysis of websites breaking down websites into like seeing or being able to tell what the website want to make you focus your attention on and also like we created our own websites and I, I feel like this this um summit it helped us to become better consumers because now we know what like the websites or these big companies actually want us to focus our attention on like we know how to use rhetorical analysis to manipulate your mind into thinking hey, you know, I should do this, or I should vote for this person, or I should feel this way. Um, that's pretty much, like, what I got from that assignment. I became a better designer because now I know the tricks that they use. Like, the biggest one I see that most companies use, they, um, they use, like, a white background and, like, really vivid images to really pop at you. So, like, you know or you don't know at the time but it's what they want you to focus on like the white background makes everything else pop to you and I feel like like also if you're gonna make a web page it has to be very easy to navigate through because like I don't think anyone wants to be just clicking all through their computers trying to find the search bar so um yeah And overall, I feel that making a website is about knowing how to sell. Not just like, you know, money-wise, but sell the reader or sell the viewer on what you want them to see. Um, my extra direct steel, ugh, extra textual element. Um, I'm still kind of shaky about the argument. Like, I'm kind of pulling between two, but... I'll keep you guys updated.